Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. I hope you are doing good. If you haven't already, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am so close to 100K. It would mean the absolute world to me if you gave me a subscribe. So today's video is all about autumn shoes. So I feel like when it comes to dressing for autumn, we have a lot of the items already in our wardrobes, but when it comes to footwear, it can be really confusing like which to match with different outfits. So I'm here today to break it all down for you and make it as simple as possible. Number one on our list today for popular autumn shoes I love to include in my outfits is the black ankle boot. These ones are 100% the most requested from you guys, no matter what I post, if it's a reel, a TikTok, a short, a YouTube video, there is guaranteed 99% chance that someone will be asked where these boots are from because they are just such a good versatile black ankle boot. These ones, I'm really sorry to say, are from Public Desire around two years ago now. I have checked the website every autumn to see if they come back and they have never come back. So I should stop using them in my videos for that reason, but I can't because they are just there's just nothing better in my mind than these. They go with so many different things. And the reason that I love these so much to go with lots of different outfits in autumn is because of this elastic bit here. These are very, very flattering on the ankle because they have this elastic here. They're not too short and they're not too high. So they're not cutting the leg off too much, but they have this really nice flattering ankle detail where you know that you're going to be able to put them on with a different outfit and they're not going to look chunky or unflattering. They are a very elegant boot. The way that they have the platform, they're comfortable, they are just a beautiful boot. And I've styled them in so many different ways. As you can see here, I've worn them with dresses, I've worn them with skirts, I've worn them with leather leggings, I have worn them to death over autumn, winter, every single year. They were a really great buy and that's why these are number one on the list. However, because these are not available at the moment, I have found some alternatives for you. Starting with this one from Simply Be, which I have found is the most similar to these ones. I haven't seen these in person as I don't have them, but online, these were the ones that I could find that they were most similar to the Public Desire ones. And recently I have got these ones from New Look, which again are very similar in the style. However, they don't have that elastic feature. They are in a suede, but the actual shape of the boot with the heel is very similar again. And I have worn these in multiple different ways. The only thing I'm gonna say about these ones in comparison to the Public Desire ones is that these ones are suede, so they won't last as long. Um, I find that an actual leather or leather look shoe will last a lot longer than a suede, but however, these are beautiful as well. And then another one that I have is this one from PLT. I did used to wear this quite often before I got the Public Desire ones. They do still have these available online, so I've linked them down below. Um, and these, again, have got that really nice elastic bit at the side, so they go to the ankle in a really flattering way, and they are so versatile. To wear with dresses and tights, to wear with skirts and tights, to wear with jeans, whatever it is you want in a black boot for, whether it's work, weekends, evenings, whatever, you are looking for a black boot to dress your outfits up and take them through to autumn, then the ones I've listed down below in the description are for you. Next on my list of autumn shoes is a chunky trainer. So these ones are Balenciaga Triple S. I use these in so many of my videos with so many of my outfits. I have just brought a brand new pair because the ones I had before I've had since 2018 and they are actually brown. I'm not even a joke. I've worn them to death. So I am um, being very precious and I will not be wearing these outside until the weather starts to get better. They're going to be just for videos. These ones are obviously a lot more expensive than any of the other shoes I'm going to share with you today because obviously they're Balenciaga. Like I said, I have been wearing these since 2018 because I just simply go with so many different outfits for autumn and in summer as well. They're my go-tos. They are very chunky. They are very big. Like I remember when I first got them, everyone was like, what are they? They're so ugly. But now a lot of people love them or are converted and I am too. So much that I just bought a fresh pair, like I just said. So these ones are in the 600 pound bracket. So they are a really luxury purchase. And like I said, I wouldn't buy them if I didn't know how much I had wore them. I will not be wearing them outside until the weather changes, but there are loads of similar ones now available on the high street, which I have linked down below as well. 
on Chunky Trainers, one of the trainers I have absolutely wore to death is Oswego's from Adidas. I have worn them multiple times in different outfits and to be honest, they are my day-to-day -day trainers. They are absolutely battered now. They are no longer white, they are off-white. Um, I do wear them to the gym quite often as well, so they are no longer worthy of putting onto camera like it would be embarrassing. Um, but I have linked them down below. I've worn them a lot and I know a lot of people like to use those as a substitute for the Balenciaga Triple S, but also there is a really nice feeler version of the Triple S, which I've linked down below as well. And just generally on the high street now, you will see more and more of this Triple S style coming through. So if you don't want to splurge, then there are cheaper versions and just as nice versions on the high street at the moment, again, which I have linked down below. And similar to that is the trend, which is, everywhere right now it was a massive for autumn winter last year and it's coming back through again now and that is new balance so again these are probably not appropriate for the camera but <laughs> i have worn them to death um, i actually wore them to a festival in las vegas which is why they are so tired um however i wanted to include them because i do wear them quite often with different outfits in a more casual way just to give them a bit more of a dressier look so i actually wore these in london yesterday i did 18 000 steps in these bad boys yesterday <laughs> They are so comfortable and they just look really stylish. So again, if you didn't want to, you know, splurge on something so expensive, but still really stylish and fashionable. I mean, these ones are still quite expensive, but they're nowhere near, you know, the level that the Balenciagas are. Then these types of New Balance trainers are re a really good one as well. And they go with so many outfits. I love to wear them in different ways and casual ways. And then in P on Pinterest, there is literally so many people wearing the New Balance trainers in different ways. You can have so many different ideas and they have this really weird weird design at the back which definitely triggers something inside of my anxiety like I just can't look at it it's just too much for me but I do <laughs> love them so much I have a love-hate relationship with them when I first got them I was like no I hate them and now I just love them to death I wear them so much and I actually wore them quite a lot over summer with cycling shorts and things that's why I took them to Vegas with me when I went um, and I wore them in LA quite a lot they are just a really good fashionable trainer and um, one that I found similar to that as well is mallet they're really nice my husband he wears mallets and they've got like a very similar shape I wanted to include these in the chunky trainer designer trainer style of this video then my absolute autumn winter fave as always is Uggs I just love them so much they go with so many different things I just find them so easy to just style on a day-to-day -day basis these I will wear the office every day at the moment with leggings and just a big oversized jumper i feel like it's got that really off duty look about them and i did have the cheaper version of these which had the um shielding on the outside that i actually got from m m direct and they're like loads cheaper than these ones are with the ultra mini right now and um, if they are still available i will link them down below so you can choose from which one you want but i have found that these ones actually do go with outfits a lot more because they don't have the shielding on the outside um, a lot of people have said to like size up and down in these but I got my size 6 as I would usually and they fit perfectly. They are a little bit difficult to get on a few times to start with because they are so small but I haven't had any problems. Um, and I would like to say I've got a generically chunky ankle so they fit great. I have wore them with so many outfits already this season. They are just like I said such an easy throw on. Weekends I do not take these off and I know so many of you guys are like that too. Also, a lot of brands like Iso at First and um, Boohoo and stuff, they've also done their own version of it, which I'll link down below. Again, if you're not wanting to splurge on any new footwear this season, but you are wanting to just have a little taste of what it would be like to style these, then go for a cheaper option. And also, the m, &M Direct ones that are um, a bargain, I will link them down below if they are still available. Then we are on to Chunky Boots. So, Chunky Boots, I have a love-hate relationship with them again. I feel like in so many different outfits or, you know, you'll see online so many people looking so cool in like chunky boots and stuff. I feel like personally for my body shape and type, it is so much harder to wear a chunky boot. They just make me look a little bit frumpy and I just don't feel my best when I'm wearing them. However, I do love the lighter colored chunky boots. I find that these ones are a lot more flattering and easier to style. I did a video on these ones and how I style them on Instagram and TikTok and it actually blew up and then the sun did an article on how to wear chunky boots as a mid-sized girl, which I'm not angry about. I feel like it's really reached a different audience and people aren't as scared to wear these amazing beautiful boots which i'm so happy about 
These ones are my favourite. These ones are from ISO at first. I also have a similar version in white from New Look. I'll link all of these below. These black ones are from Boohoo last year, I think it is. I've hardly worn them, to be honest. If you are staying away from the lighter colours, because you think you'd wear the black more, um, then these ones I do really like with the zip on. Again, I found that they are quite flattering in comparison to some of the other chunky boots that are out there. Love this heel design. And again, there's so many different ideas available right now on Pinterest. Obviously, if you are somebody the same size as me, then it is quite hard to visualize using Pinterest because it's very varied that you'll see like a size 12 to 16 on Pinterest. Um, but that's why I'm here to help. So if you do want everyday style ideas in stuff like this, then head over to my Instagram or TikTok where I will share lots of those most days. Next we have white pumps. So I feel like these made a big comeback over summer and we are seeing them extended over autumn with different looks. Again, very simple, casual day-to-day -day looks. These ones are actually from Simply B and I have actually got the Air Force. Like look how similar these are to the Nike Air Force ones. These ones are a wider fit. So if you're somebody with a wider ankle or a wider foot, then Simply B do this great version, which again, I'll link down below, love these. And I also have a version from New Look that I've worn and styled in so many different ways recently. These are my new addition though. I feel like the Air Force ones just make your feet look so much smaller than they are. Like I've got a size six foot and that looks so much smaller than most of my trainers that I own. So I haven't really styled these much at the moment. I have worn them recently with this outfit and I'm gonna do loads more styling videos because to be honest, I've been trying to get these all summer and they're always sold out. Finally got some this week, so I'm really excited to style these up in lots of different ways. But again, like I said, if you wanted to go for a cheaper version, there are so many of these on the market at the moment. I remember I went into Primark a few weeks ago and they had their version in there. There is so many you can grab if you are feeling that this is gonna be a bit of a trend and you don't wanna invest too much money in buying them, you wanted to just see how you felt in them, then there are so many versions out there that are a lot cheaper than the actual Air Force ones. However, I have been searching for these for a long time, so I'm ready to take the plunge and I've bought them. So I'm gonna style these up in loads of different ways on here and on Instagram and TikTok really soon. And then our final shoe of autumn that I am loving as a mid-sized girl is knee highs. So these ones I wanted to add because they're from Simply Be and they are the only brand that I have found so far um, that is doing a chunkier calf boot, especially with a knee high. I feel like there's so many out there on the high street where I get really excited about and then they get sent to me and I'll wear them and I'm like, oh my God, my legs literally are like sausages <laughs> being stuffed in a skin. Like they just don't fit, they're not flattering. Whereas Simply B are doing these ones, which are called Super Curvy Calf Width. They have a full collection online of Super Curvy Calf Width boots. I actually got these ones last year, which I loved in this lighter shade because this was a huge trend last autumn winter, but the below the knee ones and from other brands just looked awful, whereas these ones are actually super flattering. Um, and then also, I've not tried these ones yet, but I'm excited to try them with this really like flat, platform but then this knee high on the top so I can style those in loads of different ways for this autumn winter. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, it's a bit different, if there's anything else that you want to see from me that is like this or any other style ideas please let me know down below in the comments. As I mentioned everything that I have showed you today is linked down below in the description and hopefully some of the ideas of how to wear them have been helpful. If you haven't already, it would mean the world to me. Again, if you would, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, bye.